Howdy. My name's Herb, and welcome to This Week in Herb's Workshop. Although I'm not in the workshop uh, today, uh, I'm in my uh, computer room. And as you can see, there's a, this is a Mac Mini that's uh, new to me. I, uh, I needed something with a little more memory, a little faster. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but back over my uh, right shoulder here, that's an iMac 2008 uh, variety. And it has uh, four gig, gig, of, gig of memory. This one has eight gig. Uh, something new to the shop is a 3D printer. Uh, I got this a couple of weeks ago. And I thought I'd just show some of the things that I've done with it. Uh, there's all kinds of models that you can download on a website called Thingiverse. It's uh, sponsored by MakerBot. Anyway, uh, fun little stuff. Uh, show you some of the things I've done. This is a uh, low-profile GoPro tripod. That was one of the first things I did. And this is a, a GoPro case, skeleton case. Did that. And I have a variety of uh, boxes here for Raspberry Pi because I do a lot of uh, Raspberry Pi uh, stuff. This one is made uh, with uh, sort of natural PLA material two pieces. Uh, this one's made by using uh, red uh, ABS and you can see the Raspberry Pi in there. And this is a camera and this is set up so I can do time-lapse photography. This is an older Pi. Then I have a, a newer one here in this box and it's the bottom screwed on now. Wi-Fi dongle, and uh, I uh, use this to uh, do a lot of programming with. Uh, I did this uh, Raspberry Pi box, the new model for my daughter. She uh, she uses Raspberry Pis in her job, so I thought uh, uh, when she saw that I was printing them. She would uh, like to have one. Uh, this is a Arduino uh, Uno case, and there's actually a lid that slides on here, but uh, real handy. And it's got points to screw it down to a base. Uh, this is a micro uh, Arduino in a little holder that they printed out. That was quite interesting. And this is a uh, a uh, distributor cap for a little four-cylinder engine that I'm starting to build. And it's just uh, uh, out of ABS and the holes here for the distributor wires and uh, two mounting tabs. Uh, one of the recent things I did this is a terminal block, and you have uh, 632 set screws that fits here. You stick the wires in to these holes, and you tighten it down, and it's a terminal block. That's going to mount on a base along with uh, 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 Arduino and motor driver and uh, a little... Uh, stepper motor for uh, demonstration purposes. So anyway, that's uh, some of the things that I printed. I printed this last night. And you can see uh, the model here. I did this in Fusion 360, which I have absolutely love. And uh, basically you have 120 uh, slots to put these little uh, the screwdriver tips in and uh, 
I screwed up when I did this one. My prototype, which this is uh, this is an early prototype, but what I did, it has a hexagon shape in the center, as you can see here, and the uh, hexagon fits the base of, of these screwdriver tips. And and the second or third prototype I did, I tapered that. Uh, uh, hexagon down at a two degree angle so when it goes down the bottom it it uh, sort of holds it you know in place it becomes a tight fit and this one that I printed last night I forgot to do that and so it's a little loose so I'm over my shoulder here I'm printing another one this one took seven hours to print this one's going to take 17 hours because I set it on uh, medium uh, uh, resolution instead of uh, fast resolution. So it's going to be running uh, all day today and into the night. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, this is a Flashboards Dreamer. Uh, it's got about a five inch by uh, uh, nine inch table and uh, probably nine inches high. I don't remember the exact dimensions. Uh, it's been working flawlessly. It has uh, room inside for two reels of uh, filament. Uh, I've got uh, red ABS in which I'm using right now. And, uh, on the other side I actually have uh, a roll of uh, clear PLA that I do some uh, some items out of and uh, you learn uh, how to keep things stuck to the, the base especially with PLA uh, the base temperature on uh, ABS is uh, about 105 degrees and on PLA it's only 50 degrees so you have to use, uh, make sure you use uh, Elmer's glue stick to stick your model down. And that presents a problem getting it off. It takes a little effort to get it off if you use a, uh, this was included in the kit, a little uh, scraper. And it comes off fairly, fairly easy now. Uh, but uh, I've done several things, really enjoy this printer. And what, uh, for a long time I've had people urging me to uh, get a 3D printer and I was never really into that uh, at all. But, uh, you know, if you're going to design your own things, uh, you need a good uh, CAD program and something that will translate easily. To, uh, to G code to go into the uh, printer software. Well, John Sanders introduced me to Fusion 360, and John has a uh, Fusion uh, 360 Friday every week, and with tips and tricks on using Fusion, Fusion 360 been a, a great help to me. Anyway, that has allowed me to design my own things uh, really easily. And with the Fusion 360 software, you can print directly from Fusion 360 to the software that runs this. And it's flawless. And uh, it, uh, it works uh, very, very well. Anyway, I still wasn't... Uh, quite interested in getting a, uh, uh, a 3D printer until uh, Gary, and I forget what his channel is, uh, he uh, lives over in East Texas. Uh, on his channel, he uh, designed and, and uh, printed a knob for his VFD 
uh, remote panel. And I said, oh, that's cool. And I started looking into them. And I uh, had a few extra shekels, so I, uh, I bought this thing. And uh, uh, I'm not uh, regretting the purchase at all. Although, pretty soon I'm going to run out of things to do. But what I like about it is you can prototype stuff and, and you know, make prototypes of it. Uh, another thing it's taught me is about material shrinkages. Uh, you can't just make a, a quarter inch hex slot to put those uh, screwdriver tips in. You have to allow for, like ABS is about 6% shrinkage. So you have to make your model 6% uh, larger than what you uh, would normally do uh, to allow uh, for shrinkage. And that's easily done. Uh, you can actually design it to scale, put it in the software, and you can scale it to 106%. And everything's taken care of all at once. So uh, that, uh, that makes it real easy. Anyway, I thought I'd uh, show you this. I haven't put on a video in a while. I've uh, gone through some eye surgery and uh, today I actually went over and got a shot of uh, cortisone in my back to uh, help out with back pain. So I'm sort of taking it easy and I have been for the last uh, three or four weeks. But we should be back out in the shops shortly. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and uh, we'll uh, see you on the flip side. Thanks.